Hello, my name is Natalie Navarez and I am a graduate student here at the University of Michigan. In my essay, I spoke a lot about the outreach work that I do because I think that that is one way in which I am helping change the world. But another way in which I think that I'm helping change the world is via the work that I do here at the university. I study the neurobiology of monogamy. So I look at the brain structures and the neurotransmitters that are involved in the development of these selective social attachments and also in the maintenance of these attachments. To do that, I use an animal model called the socially monogamous prairie The prairie is a rodent that develops a monogamous relationship with its partner. And as you can imagine, that's an extremely rare behavior for a mammal. A lot of the work that we do focuses on the neurotransmitter dopamine. So you have probably heard about dopamine as a pleasure neurochemical, but in fact it's really involved in the motivation um, that drives us toward things that are good for us. For example, food or shelter or sex. In the case of the prairie bulls and in humans, the development of these social attachments that make us feel good. And so a lot of the work that I do here in the lab is probing the ways in which dopamine is acting and also the parts of the brain that it's acting on. So in typical experiments here in the laboratory, I implant guide cannula into the brain and I later on give the bulls these drugs that very selectively activate their dopamine reward system and allow me to make an animal uh, develop this monogamous relationship with an animal that they just met. So this is very interesting work because this allows us to see what very specific parts of the dopamine system are involved. But what we've also seen is that once the animals have developed this pair bond naturally, in cases where we haven't induced it ourselves, we've seen that the brain actually has a lot of neuroadaptations and changes in the way in which it processes and releases dopamine. And this is very important because this actually mimics a lot of the ways in which drugs of abuse also manipulate dopamine signaling. But other laboratories have seen in the past that when prairie bulls develop a pair bond, it's harder for them to become dependent on a drug of abuse. And the other way around, when a prairie bull is already dependent on a drug of abuse, it's harder for them to develop this pair bond. And, and this has a lot of implications for human work. We can now look at ways in which our social attachments and our relationships can help prevent us from developing drug addictions and likewise during times when individuals are in recovery, we can also see how we can use our social relationships to buffer from the possibility of relapse.